What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Shooting Gallery here on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by. Today, we're gonna go over what to do after you build your AR-15. Now, this is the Brownells AR-15 or the Brownells BRN-15 upper receiver. We use pretty much Brownells parts minus the Safety Harbor Firearms SHF-15 receiver. Guys, big shout out to Brownells. I'm really excited. I have test fired this, only two shots to make sure it works. But we're gonna go over how to lubricate your AR-15 using Aegis Gun Care Lubricant or Joe Juice. Guys, let's get down to the tabletop and I'll show you what to do before you take your AR-15 to the range. All right, guys, so first off, before you start working on any firearm, you wanna make sure that, first of all, we're not having any ammunition, magazines out of the gun, and there's nothing in the chamber. So, this is a clear firearm. Now, when you are going to shoot your AR-15 for the first time, you wanna make sure that everything is properly lubricated. As you can tell from the first video of when we were building the lower receiver, we applied the Aegis Gun Care to the inside of the fire control group or the trigger group. And as you can see, look at that nice Geisley trigger. I'm gonna use a little bit more lighting here. Look at that, Thank, big shout out to Goon Beam. This is the shit. Check it out, use code Joe Juice for 10% off your order at Goon Beam. Assault flashlight with the tactical ring, check it out. Now, we have the guys to trigger. This is properly lubricated. It is sweet. Now, we're basically gonna focus on the upper receiver. So, I'm hoping the lighting is working out because I, in my apartment, and again, guys, big shout out to Brownells. Uh, we picked this upper receiver up. This is the brand new BRN upper receiver. I'm gonna link the video that we did when we unboxed it and kind of finished the AR-15 build. Uh, apparently people were calling it the Freedom 15, <laughs> uh, but we decided to put a six hour Romeo 5 on the optic, as the optic. And uh, I like it so far. I did ha take this off another uh, firearm because I wanted something to just kind of get me in the game. Maybe down the road we're gonna upgrade to a Holo Sun or we might even get the Romeo or the Juliet magnifier, I might add. So the AR-15 upper receiver is what you really wanna focus on. We're gonna be using Aegis Gun Care Lubricant or the Joe Juice. Uh, check out this nice uh, Cirrus gear, Aegis Gun Care mat. You can get this over at AegisGunCare.com. Use code Joe Juice, saves 10% off the entire order. Big shout out to them. Sponsor of the podcast, one of the long time supporters of the channel. So we're gonna take the charging handle and bulk carrier group out. All right, first off, we're gonna focus on the bulk carrier group at, on the moment. Now. Your bulk carrier group right here is what you want to keep lubricated, all right? This is where a lot of the business happens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pen or a some type of pointy object. Uh, usually you can use an armor's tool or a punch. I have all my tools spread out. I'm in the process of actually building a studio with a bench so we can actually have better tabletops. So this, hook right here, it's like a cotter pin. You wanna pull this out, just pry it out, and then from here, place that here, don't lose this pin. Now from there, the bolt itself is able to move freely. Tap the back of it, and you're able to get the firing pin out. Place that next to it. Then from here, you wanna turn the cam pin on your bolt carrier group, which is, let's see if the lighting can show it this pin right here, cam pin. Turn that about 90 degrees and your cam pin's gonna come out. Take the bolt out and you've just disassembled your bolt carrier group. Now, I've been preaching this for years, guys. Please check out the field or deluxe maintenance kits from Aegis Gun Care, you get everything you need. Uh, the maintenance or the field kit is essentially you get, you know, your common calibers like nine, a 22, and I believe there's a 45 brush in here. You're gonna get your jags, pull through rods, microfiber cloths. You're gonna get these handy dandy uh, toothpick style. Um, I always forget what these are called, but you know what these are called. I'm drawing a blank. We're gonna keep moving on. Uh, so the 
Q-tips, sorry. So we're gonna get, you're gonna get the long Q-tips. You get your patches, and obviously you're gonna get the cleaner and the lubricant. We're just gonna focus on the lubricant right now because we're gonna actually, I'm gonna try and test fire this today. We run a couple mags and zero the optic again. So now we got the bulk carrier group apart. You're gonna take a patch out of your basic, you know, field maintenance cleaning kit from Aegis Gun Care. And the good thing about Aegis Gun Care is that they also offer uh, a variety of things that can help out in cleaning. One being the needle nose, the needle tip. Highly recommend getting this and swapping it out because it is a little bit watery, but again, this stuff does its job. So we're gonna swap the needle so it's a little bit easier to apply the lubricant. Take the red tip off, place that, don't lose that. It's gonna save your time so much. So what I usually do is I take this and I apply it generously to the patch. So right now we're gonna focus on the exterior of the bulk carrier group. Lather it on, you can wear gloves while you're doing this, but you know, I work with this stuff all the time, so I, I know I'm gonna be safe. Uh, this stuff is non-toxic, you're not gonna like, you know, it's not gonna be like that Hoppy's number nine, and uh, you don't have a <laughs> ventilated room. So take your, you know, some type of uh, object, get all the lubrication inside where the bolt is riding. Look at all that. Again, I only fired two rounds out of that. So keep, make sure this is lubricated, and then take your needle, tip go all the way down the bolt face you want to make sure your bulk hair group is lubricated very well okay make sure that's all nice and good and then take the same patch that you had as long as it's not so dirty because again when you're first building these guns they just have like the grease wipe that down make sure your firing pin is lubricated now this is pretty much what you want make sure it's all nice and lubed pop it back in Align the bulk hair group so the cam pin can just drop right in. Go in at a 90 degree angle. Come on. Again, it might be a little bit difficult because, you know, your bench is now all lubricated and shit. Okay, now you're at this point. So what you wanna do is pop that forward, turn the cam pin 90 degrees to make it kinda of horizontal to the bulk carrier. Take your firing pin, drop that in. Sometimes you gotta drop it all the way to the bottom, uh, all the way from the back end. Okay, push that in. Now, take that cotter pin that holds the firing pin, make sure the bolt is completely out into that position, pop that in, and then your firing pin is retained by that cotter pin and your bulkhead group is ready. Now, from here, this is where the needle tip comes in, and you can buy the needle tip on Aegis Gun Care for I think they're like, like six, seven bucks, but totally worth it. So you wanna make sure the whole upper receiver is lubricated, all in here. I know the lighting isn't the best, but let's try the goom beam again. There we go, look at that. So, you want all in here lubricated, right where you see the gas, the gas tube, all that needs to be lubricated. So you take the needle tip, and it gets right down into the upper receiver. We get just enough, generous amount, because this is gonna be your first time shooting it. You're gonna take another patch. Usually you can use a brush with this. I use kind of like a, I sometimes use a brush, sometimes I'll use a, just a regular 3 32nd inch punch just to use it as a lubrication applicator. Make sure I'm moving this, this patch all around. So we're gonna go in here, get that all nice and lubricated. Now this isn't a cleaning and lubrication of an AR-15. If you guys really want, I will make a video of it. But this is just applying the lubrication to make sure the gun is gonna be working properly. Now that you got that, you're gonna take a, um, sorry, phone went off for a second. Uh, Aegis Gun Care has this 
pull through rod that I highly recommend not losing. And it's good quality. This will work in your AR-15 as long as it's a 22 caliber. So you have a 5.56, 223, that's what you're gonna need. So, unravel it. I will say, rod is really good at making sure this stuff <laughs> works. So you're gonna take the jag that comes in your little package, because again, you're not shooting this yet, so you don't have to get all that carbon out. And you're gonna get this brass jag that holds the patch, and we're gonna just pull it through, because we're just gonna coat the inside of the chamber and inside of the barrel. I'll make sure that's all nice and good, gets any package dust or what have you out of the barrel just twists on okay take your applicator needle on the Aegis Gun Care lubricant and just coat the outside you don't have to use a lot of this stuff so then you're gonna feed it through and the good thing is rod over at Aegis Gun Care provides a T-handle to <laughs> pull this through. <laughs> Highly recommend it. These kits are like 40, I think they're like 45 bucks for the basic and then around 50 for the deluxe, which kind of has like everything you need. So you're gonna feed this down the barrel. You're not gonna see this on camera because it's out of frame, but you just twist on that T-handle and then you are going to pull through the jag. There you go. That is just getting all that and you're coating the inside of the barrel. So from there, you're gonna wanna put the charging handle back in. You don't, really, If you want to, you can apply a little bit because it is gonna be some rubbing marks. So just take your finger or a patch and just rub on three sides of the charging handle so it's not gonna wear as much. Put that back in the upper receiver. Put your bolt carrier group in and you are all set. Now, what I usually do is now you're here, I'll apply a couple drops of lubricant right here, because that's you know where a lot of the action's gonna be, and just you can move it back and forth. Make sure that's lubricant. And that is how you prepare your brand new build before your first shots. Let's get back up top and finish this video out. So guys, this is how you are going to lubricate your AR-15 or any build. Usually this is particular to AR-15 rifles, but this gun is going to be BA. Look at that. I love it. I can't wait to get this to the range. Probably gonna take this today to sight the Romeo 5 in, but that is how you are going to lubricate your AR-15. Again, big shout out to Brownells. Uh, again, most of the parts, or pretty much all the parts, minus the receiver from Safety Harbor Firearms, were bought from Brownells. If you use the code BOP10, you can save yourself some money. And big shout out to H Gun Care for, for sponsoring the podcast and helping out with the channel. They've been, again, one of the longest supporters of this channel. Use code JOJUICE, 10% off your entire order at Aegis Gun Care. You can get your cleaning kits, your lubricant, your cleaner, tech mats or their service mats that have Aegis Gun Care. You can get patches, hats, you name it, they have it. Go check them out, tell them I sent you, and use that code JOJUICE. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace.